more than 200 Jamaicans were honored for outstanding contributions to the nation on Monday's virtual 2021 National Honors and Awards Ceremony. The awardees included 70 members of the Security Forces and the Jamaica Fire Brigade. Governor General His Excellency Sir Patrick Allen in his address said despite the challenges facing the country, he's optimistic that new heroes will emerge and inspire the nation. Four prominent Jamaicans were conferred with the Order of Jamaica, the fifth highest national award, namely former Speaker of the House of Representatives and former Member of Parliament, Pernell Charles, for distinguished public service, former leader of the People's National Party, Dr. Peter David Phillips, for distinguished and exemplary public service, Ian Kent Levy, for outstanding contribution to business and philanthropy in Jamaica, Ernest Wrangling, for exceptional contribution to the development and internationalization of reggae music. Governor General, His Excellency Sir Patrick Allen, praised the recipients for their work to develop Jamaica in their respective areas of interest. Today we are facing a trifecta of deadly challenges. One, the COVID-19 pandemic. Two, the escalation in crime and violence. And three, road traffic accidents resulting in unprecedented fatalities. These are crises from which we must emerge and stay on track with our developmental goals. From these difficult times, we hope that new heroes will emerge to set the pace and provide inspiration for generations following. Professor Donald Jasper Harris was this year's sole recipient of the nation's fourth highest honor, the Order of Merit. Notably, Two members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Detective Constable Michael Beckford and Constable Delano Dunn, along with firefighter Dennis McConey Taylor of the Jamaica Fire Brigade, received the Medal of Honor for Gallantry. On May 2nd, we received a call at the Spanish Town Fire Station that our service was required at Jones Avenue. When we arrived, the police on the scene informed us that there was a gentleman in a pit. On our assessment, we realized that the pit was very deep. I was extended into the pit to try and execute the rescue. The first thing he said to me is that um, God answers prayer. I secured a harness around the, the gentleman and he was successfully um, pulled out of the pit. I also was very happy that I could be a part of something great in, in helping to save a life. The badge of honor for gallantry was also bestowed on two civilians for acts of bravery they displayed to save lives. Badge of honor for gallantry, Mr. Kaim Matthew Duncan for the act of bravery in entering a burning smoke-filled house to successfully rescue his elderly, physically impaired neighbor on March 6, 2021. Well, my friend Lawrence lived next door to me with his father who is not very well. A fire had started and one of the main issues was while everyone else had gotten out, we didn't know where his father was. In the heat of the moment, I didn't think about it much. Um, I had gone in to try and find him. I managed to call out and eventually find him in the kitchen where he was huddled down. Once I had found him, that same friend Lawrence helped me get him out. Mr. Dwight Anthony Moore, for the act of bravery and heroism to save the life of a policeman under attack on August 19, 2020. I was in crossroads at my World Tron station. Uh, I was just greeting and meeting customers spoke to two gentlemen who were in their private capacity, their police officers. I briefly walked away, went into the store, turned around, looked out, and I saw one person being attacked. So I noticed a firearm in play. Quickly, I responded, neutralized the threat, and recovered a gun from the perpetrator who has subsequently pleaded guilty and is now serving a sentence. To be honest with you, I'm ecstatic, I'm excited, my family especially, and my friends even more than I, but I'm catching on. It's excellent. Thank you, Jamaica. Thank you, the government. Thank you, my friends, family, citizens. 